This video sponsored by LinkedIn. Hi guys, so today I'm going to show you guys how I use OneNote in my medical school preclinical edition. <laughs> channel so my name is Siti Fatima Binti Muhammad and I'm a second year gonna be third year in a few weeks medical student so today um, I decided to share with you guys how I use my OneNote in my medical school so first of all what is OneNote OneNote is a one software or what you call an apps which is used to take a notes so it's it's not only notes but it can actually gather your drawing your audio your music your video all in one software or apps so this app is actually free and it's available on every type of platform which is like windows mac os ios android everything is free you can go and download it i used this one not since i was in my second year so I didn't use it on my first year because I didn't know it but I know some of my friends they used this one note before so during my second year I try and challenge myself to use this one note and I really menyesal and regret why I didn't use it since I was in first in since, since I was in my first year so when you try to download the one note so you might encounter two type of one one note which is this one and this one so today we're going to use this one you're going to learn about this one since this one is pretty basic and pretty easy to understand how it's work compared to the other one so how to use it i will show you like a brief example like how to use it it's so simple you guys can see it i will show it you guys here okay well, after you log in this is one example of it so at here you can choose like many type of notebook you cannot choose you can rename or make a many type of notebook so for example here in my for, for me i put like pbl preclinical life and use mle so for, i will give you like example for the blank one so this is like the first section if you already download the one note and you want to use it so there's like a section here you can add section so add section here like for example like uh, this is for biology and then you can add another section here down here we you choose example like new section group so new section group is like another subtype that you can use so this biology just now you can transfer it under new section group you just open the new section group and transfer it into the new section group wait cannot okay it's already done here so you just rename it for example you want to rename this um, study uh, this is for revision for revision and for revision so and then you have this one so revision you you press the arrow just now and you will so you will see like biology you can add another one which is oh this is oh yes another one you can rename it as a mathematic for example basic basic one mathematic and then you can add another one for example like um what do you call it um chemistry so now for example like biology you want to put another page so the page here is the first one so for example like i want to say like in the first page of biology i want to say like anatomy of liver so liver so you need to put like a picture of anatomy of liver so you find an anatomy of liver here i already do, done it so I can transfer easily i can transfer it from the google itself google image i can transfer it directly into the what do you call it into the one note so it's pretty easy another information is um you can sync this account into another devices for example like if you have an ipad you can sync it with your laptop under the same account so it's pretty good and it's quite useful for example like today i want to use my ipad so you just use the ipad under the same account and write your notes there or you today you or today you want to use a laptop you can use on your laptop you can draw it uh, there's like many type of things i use a drawing tab because i don't have an ipad i, I think this is more convenient for me you can draw something here like left lobe or you can use a red pen left lobe and then you can gallbladder like falciparum ligament and right lobe as simple as that so another information other than picture that you, you can transfer a file or maybe you can transfer a lot of stuff into the one note itself so now i want to share with you guys how i use it on my medical school this now is like a brief tutorial so now i want to share with you guys how i use it on my medical school so as you can see here how to Three to I have like three notebook here. For example, like in the first one is a PBL. So um, as we know, during a medical school, first year and second year, you will have this what you call as a we call as a PBL. We call it as a problem based learning. So each week we have this PBL and how I use my one note to enhance my productivity on the, on during a PBL. I transfer all of the thing that I want to share or discuss during the discussion or the trigger 
into this into one note. My first year I use uh, I use Word because Microsoft Word, which is not really quite convenient because it's quite hard to see the overview all of the topic. That's why I change and go to go to using in one note. So for example here, this is a block nine. Do we have like I do the BL start from the block seven. So this is like this, and I will show you during my block nine, which is the diabetic nephropathy is the most common one. Diabetic nephropathy. So here we have like the trigger and the discussion. So there's like uh, this is the trigger. We have like in in the minor we do the trigger. So this is the trigger, the facts and idea, and the learning needs. And then during the discussion, then this is where I discuss all of it. So it's quite a good thing since it's really because if you use the use the one note you can see the overview this is what you're going to discuss today just like that one that's for my pbl we move on into the next one which is um, preclinical life so the, in the preclinical life we have like several things for example like in the case study in the medical school each week we have this what we call as a pathology class so pathology class each each time we do the pathology class we have this we have to discuss a case study so for example in block 9 I will blur all of the thing that I learned here because it's quiet it's a privacy you know what I mean so I'm going to blur all of this but that's how I use it so each case study for example like week 1 we have this what you call as glomerular nephritis with the practical so I put all of the lecture notes here not lecture I put all the case study here and I answer all of this in this place I will just show you like how like this is the one so this is case study 1 case study 2 same with this one case study one case study two i'm going to blow all of this but i will show you just a little bit just a sneak peek how i use it like this is uh, this is more clear so this is like a case one so case one we are given a case study here so we discuss and then we put all the diagnosis that how the treatment and the management case two case three case four case five and case six that's how we use and that's how i use my one note to do my case study and then we move on into the next part which is uh, exam so exam this is a meq past paper i get it from my senior which is this one is quiet privacy you cannot see it so yeah i will, I will not show you guys here and this is, this is a quiz stuff this is the quiz that i have during my medical school we move on to the next one which is a first professional exam so i will not show you guys the case study but i will show you how i use it so first professional exam is an exam combination of block one until block nine exam so so our lecturer or professor combine all of this pathology and they put it in under like several case study so they give it to us and then we answer it and we answer it as a exercise for us to prepare for professional exam we just do the case study you guys can see here a lot of case study we answer it notes it this is youtube preference so this under un, under notes we have i have this revision but before i do not before i do my first professional exam i go to the youtube and find like a good video to understand to help me understand the histology because you know histology is really difficult imagine this for example like this this is it is how i learned it you see it is a good dude which is fat it's actually an adip adipose tissue and it's quite normal it's normal fat tissue but in another pathology you can see it, this this type of histology but it's a it's a penyakit it's a disease so it's quite good like if you learn this one like just a briefly learn it just briefly learn it i just i just learn it because i want to know more about histology i will give you guys the link in the description below the youtube's link for this video because it's really helpful and yeah it's helpful yeah really really helpful you guys can check it out and then uh, we have like clinical cervical cancer this is like a clinical for oski uh, our professor give us so i use it i put it under revision just so i can revise it again again and again the same time with the pathology revision so that's it and then we move on into the next part which is uh, usmle again what is usmle usmle is an exam we have like a patoma so Patoma, uh, this is like the textbook, the PDF textbook. So I transfer it on my one one and I put it here and I study it just like that. And then um, I guess you can you guys see on my Anki video, I, I, I did talk about this regarding the sketchy and stuff. So this is the sketchy stuff that I mentioned about. So this is for fungi. So like I, I already explained it on my Anki. 
you guys can check it out the video the enki's video i will put the, the link in the description below i think that's all for today's video i hope you guys subscribe and like this video if you guys have any question or want to ask me some question or give your opinion put your comment on the down comment put 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 your comment on the down below okay i think that's all for me but first let's hear a word from our sponsor this video sponsored by link app have you guys ever wanted to learn a new language come here to me so a few weeks ago i have this thought that i want to learn a new language either the language is either japanese or maybe chinese so what happened to me three days ago link app actually reached out to me and say that they want to partner with me and let me tell you something like their apps is the best apps ever let me show you why link app is a learning app where you can sign in and you can start learning over 60 language for free in this app there are over 60 language you can choose from and almost all of your choices are here this app also include a lot of fun activity for example you can learn and practice your writing here's some example of me learning to write in japanese word At the same time, this app are organized in a game-like fashion way, which is really helpful to stay focused. Here, watch me learning using this app. To put cherry on top, this app also have a chat box where we can communicate with the bot and practice our accent. One thing for sure is you must try the app because you cannot miss this app because it's help you learn so much. If you want to learn a new language and stuff, you can try and download their apps. Download it using my link below because it's an affiliate link. So if you guys click the link, I have like a few commission that I can get. So yeah, thank you guys. That's all for me. Thank you.